right, man, let's talk about Zion Williamson uh, real quick, man. I still ain't got a new stand for the car. I got to find one for this phone. So, apparently Zion got back in shape, in a great shape, it looked like. Um, they extended CJ McCollum, I think, for a year or whatever it was. Um, check out the NBA Talk playlist, by the way. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. My thing is this. When the Pelicans started like, getting some success late last year, then Zion want to play. Before that, he didn't want to play. To me, what it looked like is Zion Williamson want to be part of... He want, not, he, he, not, not the foundation is being laid for the Pelicans. And they, they look to be on the up and up. Now he want to get out there and play. I don't really pretty much think it's about the money. He knew he was going to get the money regardless. What it's about is now that they start winning and they having fun and they rolling, now he wanna he gonna be part of the class assignment or the team project and wanna contribute. You know, had they still been on their knuckles and been struggling and don't like a team on up and up, because to be honest, the West wide open. Golden State, you know, they you know, Clay Thompson, Draymond, Steph can get injured. At any given point, they're an older team with a lot of mileage. That's what happens when you continue to make championship and deep playoff runs. You know, once they're out the way, who are you scared of? Dallas, the Clippers, the Lake, the Clippers cursed. They ain't getting over that hump. I bet on the Lakers getting over the hump before the Clippers will. Denver, they just seem not to put it all together. They always injured. So who are you really worried about out there? Nobody. I'm not worried about Minnesota. Especially when, you know, Rudy Gobert is going to enable Carlton Town to continue to play like a wing. Until Carlton Town play with his back to the basket, he will never accomplish it in the league unless he's a part of a super team. If Anthony Edwards is smart, at the first sign he can get the hell up out of there, you get the hell up out of there. Because you're going to make all that money you get back to, uh, you get back to, you know, for, for staying with the team, getting additional money, you're going to make all that back. And movies and commercials and all that. He's a, he's a star in the making. I don't care about his comments. It is what it is. I know he didn't mean it how he they made it seem like he meant he meant it. They're gonna try to hold that against him forever, but don't even worry about it. But you know, now it seems like they're on the up and up and they can really win the West, honestly. You know, with him and what he can do, now he now he wanna, you know, be part of the team. He really wanted to lead. And what David Griffin should have did, you know, and still probably should do, is showcase him and get rid of his ass. He get the role and playing well, 30 and 12, whatever he going to put up. Showcase his ass. To be real, showcase him. Because you know it's the countdown until he get injured again. But then again, only issue was that you're not going to bring back proper value for Zion Williamson. If he, if he do stay healthy. That's the only issue. But, you know, I ain't mad at them keeping them. But then again, it seemed like when shit wasn't going their way, he didn't want, he didn't want to be part of, of laying the foundation for the Pelicans. When they, when they all laid the foundation and them young guys figured it out, David Griffin moved some shit around, and they on the up and up, now he wanted, now he wanted to be part, part, part of the team, and now he wanted to be engaged. He says, man, come on, I don't... And, 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 and I be say, I said this about Imani Bates. I did a video on my other channel. Uh, check it out, Mercy Sports Talk, right? Right on YouTube, Mercy Sports Talk. Like I was talking about Imani Bates. His support system is failing him. A lot of people don't understand what I'm saying. Well, you know, he made these decisions. Man, he didn't make a lot of these decisions on his own. Everybody know when you go back home, it's a high probability that you're going to get in some trouble or you're going to get into something. Zion Williamson family was out here leaking shit and enabling him to be lazy and oh, I really want to be in New Orleans like that. Well, let them, uh, you know, let them know that before you get drafted. They're like, man, I don't want no parts of this shit. The first time, you know, I get an opportunity to get out of here, I'm going to get out of here. Then they could have, then they could have made, you know, res they could have made reservations to move you. Eli Manning did it. And obviously I know it's different for when Eli Manning, I'm going to talk about Eli later if I haven't already you know, Eli Manning, I know it's different when it's because it's Eli Manning, he royalty and char charges and all that, bro. That's all he had to do was say, you know what, man, I ain't like feeling it. I don't want to be here. 
But now that they didn't put it into work and they figuring it out and Willie Green came in and they starting to click, now he wanted to be part of the team assignment. Now he want to jump on the bandwagon now that they're rolling. What happened if the bandwagon come to an abrupt stop and shit ain't going y'all way and y'all losing games? You know what I'm saying? And y'all losing, y'all stuck in, in, in New Orleans, you stuck in New Orleans, then he want to shut it down again. Then he want to start eating again. Then he don't want to be a team player. Then he want to start isolating himself. Then he want to start thinking about going to New York or going wherever he want to go. You got to think about that shit. But then again, you got to think about hopefully that he matured. But that said a lot about his family that surrounded him. That said a lot about his team around, around him and the people that he 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 talked to about, in, in making these decisions, bro. Think about if Michael Jordan had the support system of some of these dudes. He never had to deal with Nike. He'd never be no Jordan brand. He wanted to sign with Adidas and Converse so bad. Converse didn't have a room. He didn't want to even talk to, you know, uh, Nike. I think it was called Blue Ribbon, or they might have been Nike at the time. He didn't even want to talk. His parents said, no, we're going to see what they got to say. And they laid out something beautiful for him, but he still wanted to be young and ignorant. And said, we're going to Nike, so I'm going to go to Adidas still. His parents like, hell, you can't pass this deal up. It's a deal of a lifetime. It's a deal of a lifetime. You know, and guess what? His, his, his parents, and you gotta understand, these parents are a lot younger today. A lot less season, less morals. Look at the Isaiah Thomas story. You know, he said, well, now his college coach came in, offered him a whole bunch of money. Him and his brother thought they were about to be paid. And his mother was like, no, nah, we ain't doing it. Bobby Knight came in, promised the education, you know, promised some, you know, some, some structural things. And she said, that's where you're going. You gotta understand, man, back in the day, a lot of them dudes, a lot of them older folks was more righteous and money didn't move them. He was talking about car we passed up a hundred not to be vaccinated, bro. You know, I mean, that's what happened in Hollywood. You see all these dudes, you know, uh, they 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 sell their souls, they bend over backwards for whatever them, literally in some cases. And you know, when they when it's when they say move and you don't want to move no more, then all this shit start leaking out. You go to jail or or whatever happened. Your career go to the shitter, they drain your account, they link you in a whole different way. So you know, you know, they say you don't stand for if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. If you if you if everything is predicated on money for you, you got you you got you got to stand for something. Money can't money don't heal everything. Money don't buy happiness. You know. So if you ain't gonna stand, you ain't gonna stand for something. You gonna you 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 sell out for a dollar every time. You somebody I don't even want around you because you'll sell me out for some money. So you see the, the difference in maturity, the difference in the, in the grade of parents and the grade of support system, it's a big difference. And nobody going to justify they, they kid moving the way they moving with all this money and all this success and a perfect job for him. Nobody going to justify that. And I don't like how he just popped up. You know, he want to be buddy, buddy, not a day winning. I don't, I don't really like that, bro. That's all I got to say about it. But I'm a huge fan still, but I'm going to be objective. But check out the NBA Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live. We drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. The whole nine. All my information inside the link tree or description. The link tree is the first link in the description. 